hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the easiest way to complete this lab so i request you please watch the video carefully you will not face any issue for sure so first of all just log in with your credentials and in the search bar search for the dialog flow like here just come over here search for the dialog flow okay now here you can see in the marketplace this open this thing in new tab like this just wait for a second and click on this enable option now if you just simply come on the task number one and if you just scroll up so we had done with this task okay now what we have to do just open this link in incognito window like this and wait for a second now wait for a second over here now click on this checkbox and click on this accept now just simply click on this create agent and for the agent name just scroll down copy this name carefully do not copy any extra space just copy that paste the name over here now for the time zone just search for the gmt minus 7 here you can see gmt minus 7 america denver choose that now for the project id just choose your project id this is your project id okay now click on create now just wait for a second it's working now and it will be done like this now what you have to do you can use my you can use your uh, lab name or you can use the uh, gsp number also so i'm just going to show how to use gsp number so just copy this gsp number go to my telegram channel the link is in description box so just go to telegram channel and in the search bar search for the hashtag gsp number just paste the gsp number over here and click on this link so you will get these two files index.js and quicklabs793.zip so just save this file to your local system now what you have to do just click on this gear icon then click on this import and export then click on this import from zip select file and just select that file quicklab 793.zip click on click open wait for a second and it's done now what you have to do just type import in capital letters i m p o r t like this and you will get the option like this just as you can see agent import successfully now click on done so if you just simply sc scroll down and click on the check my progress for task number one you will get a score without an issue now just simply check the score for task number two you will get a score without an issue now time for task number three so what we have to do just simply click on this integrations then click on this dialog flow phone gateway okay wait for a second over here click on this next option no need to make any other changes simply click on create so now this thing is processing and it's completed now click on this close option okay now if we just check the score for the task number three you got a score but sometime what happened task number three take a couple of minutes to update a score so if you get some kind of error so do not worry about that just move ahead the task number four five six you will get a score at last for sure on the task number three also now if you just simply scroll down to task number four and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue the reason is behind that i already modified that file which you download from my telegram channel because of that you will you have to not do any addition in the file now what you have to do for the task number five just go back to your cloud shell and here just search for the fire store just open this thing now click on this select native mode from here choose the num5 like this and click on create database now it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and you can just simply scroll down and copy this name called collection id so just copy this name reservation copy that and once the database is created we will going to create collection so your database is ready just wait for a second and now click on this close then click on the start collection for the collection id paste that reservation which you copy for the document id just type 100 now for here please pay attention guys first of all just copy this name like this paste the name over here then copy the value copy that paste over here now click on this add field now just copy the last name like this paste over here then copy the field for your name so just paste like this 
now time for last field so just copy the field name click on this add field and paste over here like this and your collection must be look like this if it's so just simply click on save okay so now we have done with this task also now what we have to do just go back to your data flow sorry dialog flow click on this fulfillment then click on this enable option okay so just enable it and click on deploy now this is going to take a couple of seconds and if you just go back to your dash cloud shell and here just search for the cloud function and open this thing in new tab and wait for a second okay this thing is still working on it so that's why we are not getting any functions and if i just refresh the page and here you can see my one function is creating now if you just simply click on that name so here is can see is been created so just wait for this thing to be done and once you're done with this thing we can just move ahead the last task of the task number five so just wait for a second And as you can see, our cloud function has been completed now. It's going to be done in a couple of seconds. Let me just click on this refresh and let's see. Let me just refresh the page okay still creating so just wait for a second and it's done as you can see it's take around two to three minutes now what we have to do we have to just scroll down till the task number five copy this path carefully do not copy an extra space just copy this path now click on this edit option click on this next option now click on this inline editor and from here choose the zip from cloud storage like this and paste that path you copy from the lab instruction page so it's paste over here and you will get option for deploy so just simply click on deploy now it will again take couple of minutes so please be patient okay and once we return with that we can just move it to task number five and here what we have to do if you remember as i showed in the starting we have to download these two files so now we have to use this index.js i will tell you how to use that file once our deployment has been done okay so just wait for a couple of seconds
and it's finally done it's take around three to four minutes and again i'm saying if you get confused like what that happen over here so i request you please rewind the video and watch it again okay now if you just simply check click on this check my progress you will get a score on the task number five without any issue okay now for the task number six we don't have to do anything now for the task number seven what we have to do we have to just edit this file but what i had done i already modified the file for you just go back to your dialog flow now here we have to just change this index file how just go to my telegram channel and open this index.js file let me just open this thing okay so just open this file like this now just copy all the content of this file like this just copy all this content you can use v, uh, vs code or you can use any editor for that now just copy all this content make the changes over here and just make sure the like this okay now please check the number of lines for this code here you can see from the starting to end it's 93 lines of code and please make sure that for your file must be 93 lines of code if it not you will not get a score on the task number 8 now just click on deploy now if you just go back to your cloud function and just refresh the page and here you can see the new deployment has been started okay now this is going to take again couple of minutes and if you just simply scroll down to the task number 8 just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue the reason is because we already modified that file for you this one now just wait until this thing is get completed now if you just come over the task number 7 and click on the check my progress and if you are lucky you will get a score as i lucky i got a score on the task number 7 also and if you didn't so just wait for to this cloud function get deployed successfully and once it's done you will get a score on the task number seven for sure and then that's the way we have to complete this lab i hope you guys like the video if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day